Hello students, uh, welcome back. In the previous class we have discussed about various instruments which are used in electric circuits. In today's class we will discuss about conductors and insulators. Uh, as you already know, there are materials which can be classified as conductors or insulators. Now, conductors are those in which current can flow easily, whereas insulators are those in which current cannot pass through. Now, why are why is it so? First of all, let us discuss about insulators. Some examples of insulators are paper, glass, leather. Um, those things are insulators. It means that what makes the current flow is the amount of electrons which is present in the valence shell. So if there is no electrons which is there in the valence shell or no free electrons present over there, the electrons may not be equal to move and the current may not be able to be developed over there. So insulators does not have those free electrons. That is why current does not flow or current cannot be formed in an insulator. As they have no free electron, the answer will be because it has got no free electron. Whereas conductors, conductors are metals, so copper, aluminium, all those things are conductors. They can make current pass through them or charge flow through them as because they contain a maximum number of free electrons because they have a lot of free electrons. And if there is free electron over there, it can move freely through the uh, surface of that conductor or inside the conductor. So, conductor conducts electricity because it has got free electron. Insulator does not conduct current or electricity because it, ha it has not got free electron. That is the difference. Now, let us discuss about closed and open circuits. This is about conductors and insulators. Next, we will discuss about closed and open circuits. One basic example of closed and open circuit is your suppose the wiring which is there in your room. If you switch on the light, it means the circuit is closed, then the light bulb closed. If you switch it off, the circuit is open, that means the current will not flow and bulb will not flow. So we'll discuss about closed and open circuits. Now, for an electric circuit to be complete, the circuit, the current has to flow from. Uh, suppose this is a battery. This is the symbol of the battery. Now, there are many things connected around this one. So, for a complete cycle, when an electron moves from one to the current flows from positive towards negative, it completes the cycle. So, if there is any sort of breakage in between, what happens? The cycle will not be completed, and this will be known as open circuit. Okay, so for example, suppose there is a battery and we connect this to a bulb. So we connect this to a bulb. We connect this to a bulb. Now, if this wire is a conductor made up of metal, the current will flow from positive towards negative. And when the current flows, the bulb will also flow. This is a Closed circuit. This is a closed example of a complete or a closed circuit. Suppose now in the next thing we have a battery. We can make this to a bulb. But over here, the circuit is not complete. It is open over here, it's not connected in between. And what happens? The bulb will not grow. Because the circuit is not completed, current will not be able to flow from this point to this point. Over here, there is a breakage. So, the uh, current will not flow, and this will be known as incomplete circuit. Okay, this is an example of incomplete circuit. Now, suppose we have another circuit, and over here, we have connected a bulb. The current flows are positive, but over here, instead of a conductor, Instead of a conductor, we can make this with a thread. Okay, suppose we have a thread. This is a thread. Now, thread is an insulator. And what happens inside the insulator? Current will not be able to flow. Current will flow from this point towards it till this point, but from this point, the current will not be able to flow because this part is a thread. So, this will also be known as an incomplete or an open circuit because the current has to be 
result by this part, it will not flow from this part because of the current. So, the current will not let the current flow. If the circuit is broken or anything is not there in between, then the current will not flow. In that case, the circuit will be known as open circuit. Whereas, when the current completes the full cycle from positive to negative of the battery, then that will be known as a complete or closed circuit. Okay, there are examples. Now, we have come uh, we have the end of to the first portion of this chapter. In page number 1, we have a few questions, so today we will discuss that. Question number 14, we can uh, look at the book. Question number 14, in the circuit, let the circuit shown in figure 9.16, label the part A, B, C, D, E, F, state the function of each part shown in the diagram, the direction of the flow of current. So we have to complete the circuit. There is an incomplete circuit that will complete that and to write down mention the function of all the elements over there. So the circuit is like this. Charge 
मिक्स करें तो बने कोई लोग हो जाए इस पर करें किस आई इस बोस्टन आई इस बोस्टन चार्ज फोर चार्ज फोर टाइम जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव जिस इस बोस्टन फ्री मूव इस पॉइंट कैट डेस फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव फिफ्टी जी वन बाइ टेन और जीरो पॉइंट वन करंट रिलीज़ एंड जीरो पॉइंट वन ये जीरो प्रोपोर्शन नंबर वन नो इट इस ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इस द करंट ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव एंपियर करंट इस वन पॉइंट फाइव एंपियर फ्लोस फ्रॉम कंडक्टर ऑफ फोर टू सेकेंड टाइम इस टू equal to zero or two second. What amount of charge passes should be converted? Now using the same relation, you have to find the charge. So we use the same formula. Q is equal to I into T. So this is I multiplied by T. So it is one point five into two point zero. This will be three point zero meter charges coulomb. This question number two. Now the last one. In the last one of the formula is still the same, just that is that again. When starter motor of a car is switched on for 0.8 seconds, time is 0.8 seconds. For each second, 0.8 seconds, motor is switched on. A charge 24 coulomb, charge is 24 coulomb, passes to the coil of the motor, calculate the current. This much charge is passing through the motor in this amount of time. This is only current. This is by T. This is 24 divided by 0 0.8. This is the sum of V for T. And we do the calculation. We get a much better answer. So this is the first part of the chapter. In the next class, we discuss about potential difference and resistance. And one thing we want to do is exercise 9 All the question answers, you have to do it in your notebook. Okay, when you school, you open, I'll check the notebook, so all the different has to be done. Those are basically the definitions which you will get in the chapter by itself. So please do it in your notebook. If you require any sort of help, you can always contact me. Okay, this was for today. Thank you.